Yeah, yeah, I was right in the middle. And uh, that's a big thing. And I've heard from almost everyone that I talk to is my photos on Instagram don't really do me justice. Mm. And I, I don't know if that's because I'm slightly taller. I mean, I'm not really tall. I'm like five foot seven. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, for a 212, you know, a lot of them are, you know, five foot five inches tall or so. And um, so my pictures don't really ever do me justice. And that's where I was really excited to get up there and be compared to some of the best in the world and, and really start showcasing what I have to bring to the table. And just like you said, it's, it's hard when you're just looking at photos or individual photos, or even if you're not at the show, um, because even the camera angle, whatever side of the stage the photographer's on may make somebody appear larger than others. So it's very hard to tell until you see, you know, video footage dead on straight in the center, or you see photos where everyone's being compared equally. Um, but yeah, I was just excited to, to be up on stage with some of the best. First of all, when I did the, the 212 New York review on, on MD, if you watch it, I actually said, said to my producer, I said, I think he's five foot seven. <laughs> because I was looking at you in the lineup and I said, he looks, he looks, because you remind me of that because Zane Watson is the same. He's kind of two, he's five, seven. Uh, I'm trying to think of any other five, seven, two twelves that are good. Um, cause most of them are, you know, they're, they're just not big enough, you know, they're not thick enough, uh-huh. but, uh, Zane Watson's one of them. I'm trying, I'm sure there's one more where they're kind of, you know, like taller and stuff. But, um, so, so, so you, you're 27 and you've won a two twelve. In that two years, do you think do you think it was a struggle to kind of um, main, um, kind of keep the weight down? Um, not too, not too much. Um, and actually, we didn't really like force myself to stay light. Um, I do very, very well with high amounts of food. So, like this off season, I was all the way up to two hundred and forty five pounds or so. Wow. Yeah, so I got a little – this was my biggest off-season that I had. Um, and I was getting a little nervous about making the weight because trying to drop 30 pounds or a little bit more than 30 pounds was seemed a little bit daunting. But, um, <clears throat> no, I, I mean, we knew that I had room to grow. We knew that I had improvements to be made. So we didn't really ever try to force myself to stay down near the weight. We just let my body grow and do what it needed to do. And Yeah. Um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. So are you, are you, is your best physique literally under 212? Cause sometimes like you get guys who say, well, like I look my best at 215, but I've got to make weight. Is, is that your best weight that you actually look your very, very best at? Um, right now, uh, no, probably not. It's probably a little bit over 212. Um, and that's where we will end up segueing into the open, but it's just going to take me time yeah. to grow. I, I grow a little bit more slowly. Um, and again, when you have a, when you have a very symmetrical physique and good flow and, and like my waist is, um, about 30 and a half inches, 31 wow. inches. Yeah. 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 So I want to keep those dimensions. I want to keep, and my quads are almost 30 inches. So I want to keep, my waist small especially as i grow so we're and, and obviously bodybuilding is about longevity so <clears throat> you know i'm not trying to force myself into the open um <clears throat> i definitely think we can stay in the 212 and shake things up for a couple years 